Uh, this Huskosa Tower Apartments camera overlooking Bryant Denny Stadium this morning, although it's 6 p.m. when the game gets started 12 hours ahead of time. May as well check the lights. Downtown Birmingham looking fine as well as we see the cloud cover is still very minimal and it's mainly across the Tennessee Valley. We are going to gradually over the next three days see the cloud cover emerge and eventually our high pressure ridge will retreat and a frontal boundary that will be located across the Rockies will take that time by Tuesday to make its way through central Alabama. So in the meantime, we will see a gradual warm up. It will be very mild 50s this morning and likely closer to the mid 50s as we head into tomorrow morning. It's 54 right now in Coleman. The high pressure ridge, wherever the center of the ridge is, the closer you are to the center, the cooler the air is because high pressure is sinking air and it cools as it descends. So you can see that the high pressure is retreating just a bit, but 30s are still present in East Alabama. So it's likely a lot cooler in areas like Anniston, Oxford, Talladega, Pell City, Cook Springs. We're all going to see those 70s though this afternoon after just a little chill in the air for the start of your Saturday. On Sunday, it'll be mild in the morning, but we will see partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. So what's going to be happening over the next 24 to 36 hours? As that high pressure starts to retreat and we close things in, we set up shop, add more humidity and warmth, and then you start to see the beginnings of that front by about midnight on uh, Sunday night heading into Monday morning. That will be the frontal boundary that will push through. We're going to catch the tail end of it. The low is going to be up in the Great Lakes, so we will catch the tail end of that weather feature, which means just about a day and a half of rain chances. So the cooler air you can see up into sections of the Appalachians, but for us, those 60s move in widespread by 11, 75 by 2 o'clock this afternoon. And in your seven day forecast, notice those rain chances are looking a little bit more likely as we head towards Tuesday late.